know we love fall around here. It's such a special season. And here to show you how you can illuminate your autumn nights using the beauty of your very own backyard is our good friend and lifestyle expert, Brandy Malloy is here. Hey, Hi, Brandy. Sarah, thanks for having me. This is pretty cool, I gotta tell you. I'm, I'm excited. I'm so excited for this. And as much as I love that beautiful transition from summer to fall, I am holding on to staying outside, enjoying the outdoors, even if it is a little crisper outside. And you know, light is such a beautiful way to add a calming ambiance. So I'm gonna show you how to make these DIY paper lanterns using dried foliage. They look stunning, they're easy to do, and they're fun to make as a family. We in the entertainment business, we say it's all about the lighting. And yes. Brandy's about to show us that that is very true. <laughs> so okay, true. we got a balloon, we've got some paper mesh, we've got some supplies, and you'll sort of explain this as we go on. But really, it comes, first of all, to the size of the lantern that we want to create. Yeah, this is where so this guy comes in. I started by blowing up my balloon to about this size, the size I want my lantern, tie a little knot at the top, and you can even use a marker to kind of um, tag where you want to stop paper mache. Okay. But you're just going to add a little bit of glue to your brush mm -hmm. and brush on a thin amount and then add your paper mache. And this is just transparent, clear squares, and you'll just kind of layer them over and over again leaving enough room at the top because this is where we're going to actually add our candle later. So it does need to be big enough to get your hand in there and to add oh, that. Oh, that's a good tip candle. so that you don't make it so, uh, now if you did make it uh, so that the opening is too small, could you cut it open a little bit more? Totally, you could trim it at the end once it's nice and dry. And this is what I mean, it might get a little messy with the kiddos, but this is really fun to kind of layer on those uh, pieces of paper. What do you mean fun with the kiddos? Like I'm having a great time <laughs> with you, what are you talking about? Okay, so we keep going until we we, like you say, kind of uh, fill it all in up until that area, and we've got a finished guy here, or at least uh, dried. Yes, yeah, so we'll let it dry overnight, okay. and this is what you're looking for. So just a couple layers of the sheer square. So next we're gonna add our dry flowers <sighs> or leaves. Now I promised everybody we could go into the backyard and we could find our fun back yes. there. So tell us about, obviously, you could also go to a craft uh, store and find some leaves just like this, correct? Totally, you can do that, but what I love being a mom of two, I love to go outside and just explore and make it an adventure and forge in my own backyard and look for those beautiful colors of autumn, those golds, the coppers, these beautiful reds. And so I love mixing the foliage with the flowers. And so all I'm doing is using that same brush and glue to okay. brush on a little bit of glue onto my paper mache, then adding a layer at the top. Okay, good. So you actually do. So what we're doing is we're putting glue on the paper mache and then we put the, uh, the leaves and then we put a little bit of glue on top. It's yes. been a while since I did a whole lot of paper mache, everybody, so you gotta, you know. This is so me. fun, and you know, if Good. you are looking for leaves in your backyard and using them like that, you are gonna wanna press them, and the best way to do that is just to get the leaves that you found, Ooh. press them between heavy magazines or heavy books, just to dry them out a bit and make them easier to kind of curve around this lantern. Okay, that's a good uh, tip as well. And you know, I know we're uh, we're making this lantern yeah. for fall, Cameron, but these flowers are inspiring me. I mean, this would be such a fun DIY to do in the springtime and to make a lantern for indoors, too. I hope uh, you guys didn't just see I just ripped a leaf right in half on this, so my bad. You can't <laughs> even tell. And you know what's great about this is you can just uh, cover it with another leaf. There you go. Or you can just put it back together. Or cover it with a flower. I'm just going to glue it back together. It's beautiful. Okay, so we continue this around. How long typically does it take for this to dry? Well, what we also need to do is we're gonna add just a couple of these sheer squares on top. So that's really gonna seal it because we can't just leave them by themselves. So while it's still oh, wet, Cameron, that's a great, you'll that's... just add those same paper mache squares and okay. just make sure it's transparent paper. And what's the purpose of that? Like, why do we wanna do that? Well, because as it starts to dry and sit, and these are lanterns that you wanna have for a long time, yeah. they're gonna fall off. So this is gonna make sure that all of our foliage stays nice and secure. And make sure you don't layer too much of that paper on because when we add that candle, we want it to glow. We want it to illuminate from the inside out. So we will let that dry overnight. I think my kids would be very disappointed in how I'm doing so far, but I'm learning. It's there, gonna, there I've really got time. No wrong way. I've got room to make it better. Yes, Don't worry. And you can okay. always put the front in the front and leave the back in the back. I actually, truthfully, I got here a little bit earlier and I did this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's really my handiwork. Oh, sort of. I am look how good. So excited. Now, uh, uh, there's a little problem here, and the problem is we got a big red balloon inside, so we got to get rid of that, right? This is the fun part. This is when you get to pop the balloon. Okay. You can use either a sharp needle. Boom. There it is. And 
You know what, depending on, see how I'm just kind of pulling the balloon away from yes. the sides? Yeah. It shouldn't give you too much of oh. an issue. I need to pop mine more. And then That's carefully fun. kind of peel it away. I gotta say, this is really... Without breaking the paper mache. This is really coming together nicely and really pretty easily. So that looks amazing. While I keep working on mine, show everybody how you create the handles. And yeah, so we want to hang them. So you could take craft wire and just poke the wire in between the lantern on either side and kind of twist the wire up to create a little um, ring. Or you can just use... <laughs> A little paper cutter. There you so go. So just a little hole punch yeah, on each hole side. Punch. And what I like to do is I like to hang mine as bistro lights. So you could use like fishing wire so that it almost looks like they're hanging and they're floating in the air. Or you can just use a little bit of this craft wine. Okay, so as we tie this up and we make these part of our beautiful display here, I want you to see how incredible these look with a little electric votive or a faux candle inside. Yeah. Check that out. Look how beautiful this comes together. Those look totally store-bought. I gotta tell you the truth. They look like something you would see in a boutique. So beautiful and just, I love the way it glows. It can really just change the entire mood and energy outside. And again, I like to do, whoops, um, individual lanterns or bistro lights. You can uh, just keep adding, right? Different sizes. And where'd you get your light? Along. You have a light. Oh, yours is right there. Oh, this so is you light. can use the little press light. Here we go. These are great. They're just bad battery else. operated. Wait for it. I got this, everybody. Go to hallmarkchannel.com <laughs> for all the great details of how to make this. This right here, basically, I just created. And of course, go to Brandy Malloy as well. BrandyMalloy.com uh, to see all of her bright ideas. Like this one. Yes. You're awesome, Brandy. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.